like you've just well. come off holiday. <gasps> Good head, bud. Thank you. I'm Good making it. Hello, gorgeous. Oh. Have you hit a wall? No. Oh. I could have a Good coffee. You look gorgeous. I'm so happy because I did my plain poo. God, you're so tanned. Finally, the plain poo. Babe, sorry. Do you just want to see this? No, I can't. it's going to make poo. you cry. Well, the thing is, it does kind of make me cry, but I could never, go, even yeah. if I lay out for weeks, months, yeah, days and years, I wouldn't go that colour. Babe, you look lush. Babe, you look comfy, Hole comfy. in the knee. Yeah, cosy, cosy. Bank holiday Monday, cosy. You look so good. Thanks, holiday. Babe. Is this from holiday? No, from Madrid. Yeah. Madrid. Madrid. <laughs> oh, I have a present for you. No, stop it. I actually don't have one for you, and I did think, oh my god, I must get Ali a present while I'm in Portugal, but then I didn't. Appalling. Really Appalling. That is so bad. I've got one of these. Show well. me. I gave you one yesterday. <gasps> You're over the moon. Indeed, love it. Oh my god, I love it. Thank you. You're I love welcome. it so much. I'm gonna put it on right now. I love you. And I bought you this because I got it on the plane and I thought I got one on the way out so you could have mine from the way back. <laughs> It's actually kind of boring, the stuff in there, but the pouch is what the best. What the hell? No, this is the No, best. I love a sleeping mask. No, look, babe, I thought no, babe. all of these. Look. Oh, no, babe, I must put the this on right now, company, babe. The gentle <laughs> I must get ready for bed. Miles put my socks on. I'm actually, honestly, if I put this on and wound this fucking chair back, I would fall asleep. Wound this what? Oh, no, it's a pasta in the jar. It's a pasta Ready. in the jar. Are you knackered? I actually do feel quite tired today. Because well, you woke up so early, I knew. I saw your picture at the gym. I thought, what the hell is wrong with her? Doing? I no. can't sleep in. I try ever so I know, hard. I know. Babe, thank you. This is so, so generous and kind of you. Oh my gosh, I can brush my teeth. Oh wow, no, this yeah, is fun really. Stuff. That's the fun stuff. Oh my gosh, a pulse point. Yeah. Oh, is it? Can we just talk about the fact that you fly first class? It's not first. It's not first. Obviously. Oh my god, first class, babe. Those are like what is it? Fifteen Business. grand a pop. Yeah. Only when I'm with my parents. Oh sure, not doing it by People, myself. All the quite feeling quite really, pulse pointed. I really do live a life of two halves. Like when I yeah, live with I my... know. <laughs> just so funny. I, why was I speaking to you about you? I can't remember. I'm like such a cheapskate when it's me and my yeah. Mom, I was like, you babe. wouldn't like know she's so funny like that's just not even a I thing you would never know because but it's only when i'm with my parents i live the bougie like life bougie. only like yeah. my day-to-day -day life is so not bougie no i dig that for you I, oh babe it looks so good i knew you'd love it really really good i love it no i love it so much get it tighter tight oh no babe i can't breathe <laughs> okay okay good. i love it holiday okay Tell me everything. No, tell me everything about tell your holiday. Everything. Oh my god, no, tell me everything about Lisbon. the best time. Yeah, it was, it was magic. Oh, two weeks, that's so nice. Do you feel like you fully like no, switched off? I just really... She's going to take my shoes off, I think. Yeah, just yeah, yeah, really yeah, hear yeah, this yeah, story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I find it really hard to switch off. Like, I actually am someone that I really can't relax. Like, even when I watch TV, I'm not really relaxing. No, I'm on my phone and I'm editing. My mind going. is like always what? going. Honestly. This is new. This top one. Yeah. I really like My that. mum bought me the... It's the little Virgin, Virgin Mary. Mary to protect me. Yeah. Why is the Virgin Mary? gonna protect you oh maybe it's jesus i think it's jesus babe. oh maybe it's jesus it's jesus she bought jesus one for me son of God. my mum and my sister and we all have one that's really sweet so i just i put, love it yeah, it's really nice protection thing. yeah it looks really good two so weeks. two weeks is like for proper me, holiday mode i just think if you go like obviously i'm so lucky to be able to go for two weeks but even a week like as soon as you switch off you've got to come home yeah i was talking to more i was like I, I really think it's important to give your nervous system a circuit breaker and that's what this was for me i do it every single year yeah. and those are such sacred but i weeks think it's actually like i don't know it just depends how you holiday because I know quite a lot of people that will always do it like that like they'll save up their holiday yeah. their holiday from work and, and take they'll a big take the breaker. big yeah. holiday rather than doing like this year I've done like a bit here a bit there because you can't so the environment yeah and no, but also in it's fun planes. but it's like if you're going to do it do you know what I mean like I feel like you should really try and prolong it yeah and also you do get into a different kind of routine on holiday like you're slower and you eat well yeah. and you sleep deeply and yeah your nervous system like it, 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 it really is. I've really Not switches off, hopefully. No, God. no, but I've really felt it. My nervous system is always here. You look great. And I really felt it like this. I think it's really important, actually. You were scrambled head. Oh, babe, I watched that video. I oh, know, my. you're all over the shop, the weren't you? Episode. I thought, was it because she was not driving? Maybe she was just feeling no, no, a bit I was just precious frazzled. Yeah. Just absolutely frazzled. <laughs> 
and like I can't meditate. Bacon and stuff frazzle, like that. you and, like, are. Getting to the beach is my meditation, honestly. You're so and funny. And I could just lie out in the sun. Like I was so funny. I ran like almost every day, and Did I was you? thinking, That's yeah. That's so nice. And I just thought she would have actually fainted because it was like blaring sun. Don't be running in the really yeah, but hot babe, heat. I love it. No, like, no, I no. Feel I alive. don't think it's good. I love it. What do you mean? I love it. I do. What do you mean? I love it. I love it. I do. No, it's all good for you. No, but it's not like in the midday sun, but it's like still, you know, it's 35 degrees at 10 a.m. That's not right. Can't be running in that. That's a health risk. Good, isn't it? Your heart could have stopped. You know people die. Really? Yes, babe. No, babe, they die from running through like the Sahara no, Desert. No, no, no. Yes. They die. Tell me about Lisbon. No, Actually, can you I tell want... me about your scuba? So, <laughs> poor Raw. God's sake. You're so <laughs> Mean. It's just so funny because it's just it's so funny. Just like just his laugh. I've shoved about five sickness pills down Raw's okay, throat. So I forced Rory to do the paddy scuba diving because I've been diving for fifteen years in a leisure centre yeah, in South he, London. And then he had to do the like qualifying dives in a lake in Heathrow, like just hysterical. The poor boy, like that's not like doing a paddy in Thailand, is it? That is horrible for him. But he did it so obligingly. Good boy. So we got there and he was like, "Let's book the dives." I didn't do it for nothing, so we booked the dives. The weather on the first week, I mean, we were in the Caribbean, right? So it was like windy. windy, windy. Yeah. We get on those waves, my We get on those waves, the ride those you waves. You know when that you can like feel your stomach every single wave? I don't love that. So we go down for the first time, but what's really funny is like when it's like that, underwater is the best because it's so still. Yeah, it's just getting it's just, on, it's getting, just getting down. Yeah. Anyway, so we do the first dive, fine. He comes back up and then we had to drive the boat to like quite a long drive oh, to the second dive. It's making me sick dive. just thinking about it. And he was like, you know when you can see someone like, like this? No! The instructor was like, get in the water. Because normally when you're in the water, it's less yeah, bad than when you're on yeah, the boat. Yeah. Anyway, he got in the water and like just like spewed every, <sighs> like so much vomit. Like I, I don't know what, well, see, we hadn't eaten anything. Was, like, there was so much and it was like- And he was just swimming in it. No! So was I, babe. No, you were in with him. Yeah, because I was like really trying to be like a good supportive girlfriend, but like he was like vomiting all around me and I was like, oh my God, this is going to go up my nose. <laughs> Babe, that's love. In my sodding bikini. Where do I get down and everywhere? It was bad. It was, it was like, bleh, like ev and then I thought he was gonna, you know, drown because he was like, you know, when you vomit and you like, <gasps> and you like, he was, like taking in all the sea water. Like, it's it was quite just hardcore to be treading water and vomiting disaster, at the same time. No, honest disaster. And then he was like, I feel fine. I feel so good. I feel so good. And I was like, well, good for you, everyone. <laughs> everyone else was horrible because you vomed all over them. Hilarious. Oh my god, how did you wash it all off? I did it, babe. I was in the sea and you can't do much and the instructor was so nice so that's really good because now all the fish are going to come and want to eat your vomit oh sweet so you got to see yeah. loads of no, vomit no no but it was i've actually dived in a lot of places and like it's really sometimes hit or miss it was amazing saw so turtle two turtles, turtles like so many sharks right up close probably no. where that was. the sharks what do you mean the sharks in saint martin clearly are super friendly like tiny baby reef sharks but like and they would never hurt they you have fins yeah, yeah, big yeah. teeth. I didn't get up close to see the teeth, but they're proper sharks. Like you know, if it was three times the size, you'd be a bit spooked out. I'm by a them. really product of like what Hollywood's done to the shark. Like I'm really scared of them. And really? I know that you shouldn't be because they're actually not that dangerous. I would only be scared if it was bigger than me, but they're half the size of you. What are you gonna do? Tackle it? You get really brief. Don't, don't go in. touch the shark. Yeah. Maybe. Well, you can't really touch anything, but specifically sure. don't. Probably like... stroking a turtle. Also, babe, did yes. you know we were talking about Steve Irwin and how? Because we saw a stingray. It was so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, Sting they me. scare me more actually. No, but ours was just a baby one. And then I okay. watched the, there's a video. Did you know that his whole thing when he died, he had a camera crew with him because they were I filming think I did know this, but I haven't seen it. No, it's the stingray is probably, Did you watch it? Yeah, I've watched it now. Because the whole thing's filmed, babe. They were making a documentary and he died while they were making the documentary because he got stung by the stingray. Oh my god. And the stingray is probably no, but to be fair, they were like really poking the bear with it. Like they were, you know, trying to kind of make a documentary about it and like you know poking no you know people say oh they're vicious stingrays they're not like if you just leave it alone they would never ever touch you but it was big it was probably the size of the roof of the sky. they are crazy aren't they i love a manta ray so beautiful oh aren't they so beautiful why are they so cute with their little spotty tummies 
lobsters or lots of lobsters. No, and then did you eat one later? That's no, always a bit awkward. But I didn't actually eat any lobster. Like lobster. But I do. Um, I do. It's quite weird. I though. like to suck it. I think that when you see them in the sea, and then I think, oh, I'm not sure I could eat that. Yeah. Now, you know. But then the don't they always say that with any animal? Like you should be able to look at it in an animal state. I have that with cows and pigs. That's why I can't eat beef or pork. Yeah, and that's really good that you do that because I just we're gonna roast a chicken later. Chicken is different. Chickens I don't, don't know. have feelings. I think they do. No, babe. You should have seen no. me in the aisle. I couldn't even pick it up. I was like, God, that whole chicken, it had a claw. What? They left a claw on it. A little a little nail. Fingernail. So Where I know. What's this? Waitrose. They all left the claw on the, and the organic one. That is bad. And I was a bit that like, oh my bad. gosh. But then I thought, no, man up. You can't not, you can't eat it and not be able to look at it raw. It's true. We need to move. Why? Okay, that lady there in the pink. She's crazy. She is. No, no, no. Oh, she's got a beer. Like it's... worried about her crazy. Like everyone talks about it on the group chat because she screams and shouts. Holly was running back the other day. Well, she looks quite happy today. I think she is a bit bipolar, oh, so sometimes she's okay. Oh my God, these kinds but of But she was running. Holly was just running up there and she went up to her and she went, you fucking bitch. Sorry, that one's allowed. Screamed at her. I mean, now she's just talking to herself. God love her. What do you do to help though? Like we Nothing. were saying, like she literally just screams and shouts. And when she's had a really bad episode, she'll throw loads of stuff out on the pavement. And there's no one to help her, which that is really is hard. Who do you call? Ghostbusters. Right, come on then, what do you want? Have you seen all this stuff about the FA? Yeah. Now his mother's gone on a hunger strike and locked herself in a church in Spain saying that it's a witch hunt against my, against my like, it's insane. 81 members of the FA have resigned or something. I haven't this. watched it. I haven't watched it, but I mean, it's everywhere. Insane. With things like this, I always desperately want to be on the side of the woman because I just think like innately that's where I am. But I just think, is it sexual assault? If it's non-consensual and he grabbed her face and kissed her, then I, yeah, I think that that cla is class of sexual He did assault. this. On the biggest world football stage. Like, what is that? But do you think there's more to it than just the kiss? Or I the know, kiss is I enough? Think... No, 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 the kiss is enough. Because she then came out and said it was non-consensual. I didn't, why did he kiss me? Isn't it it's quite Spanish? Bizarre. South Africans kiss on the lips, don't they? Really? Yeah. A stranger For... man would kiss you on the lips? Or like a, like a family friend. Really? Not me. I had a South African friend and she would say, yeah, it's really normal. Like that, like my dad's friend, like we need to kiss on the lips. That is bizarre. That might be wrong. Someone tell me. But I think that's like culturally. You kiss your mum on the lips, don't you? Yeah. Do you kiss your dad on the lips? No, but only because he's had mouth cancer. So gross. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to catch it. <laughs> No, I probably would have done. If you didn't have cancer. Yeah, yeah. David Beckham snogs his daughter all the time. Yeah, but I think when you're young, it's a bit different. Yeah, it is a bit different. Okay, what do you want? What do you want? Baby, I got it. Ooh, I could have like a hot matcha latte. Oh, okay. Hey. Can we believe Stormzy and Maya? I just spat, that's how excited I was. Baby, have you seen the pictures? Yeah, I've seen it. Well, the holding hands one? Yes. Strolling along? Yes. But guys, it was inevitable. I don't know why everyone's spaffing the pants about. I'm spaffing my pants. My pants are spaffed. Oh, okay, I've, I've never worn a mask to you. This. Yes. In my basket. It's not the free thing for me. <laughs> no, tell me everything about Lisbon. Lisbon is an absolute yes from me. Is it? I knew You're it needing would be. a little city break. Oh my goodness me. We didn't stay in Lisbon. We stayed in Cascais. Okay. Don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Why Whoa! Look Mr. where Man. you're going, Mr. Man. Why did you not stay in this? Number one, because I actually genuinely did need a break. And I feel like sometimes when you're on a city break, it's not a break. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I do. Number two, my old dad, Lisbon's very hilly. And we thought actually nicer oh, to stay it? in a really nice hotel outside of Lisbon. And then we can go in. Also, sometimes those hotels in those cities don't have pools. No, exactly. And you must have, and you have a pool. Know, it's and it was sure. hot. It was so nice. I woke up every morning, walked down to the beach, like swam with my mum, it was the Atlantic, so it was absolutely freezing, freezing it was cold. basically yeah. Cornwall, yeah. which I love, heaven. The food was just great, but I need to go back and like do it properly, yeah, eat my way like through it, because it yeah. looked epic. And like, there's a lot to see. A lot to see, we went to yeah. the Time Out Market, we had amazing food there, we went to this really cool like rooftop bar to watch the sunset, it was just amazing. Amazing. Like I highly Good. recommend I'm to anyone. So happy anyone you. and everyone. It was so funny, so I'm obviously an only child. This is so funny! <laughs> so my boyfriend's away at the moment, I think normally probably the four of us would have gone I mean, we've never done that before, but maybe if that was the yeah, situation, so. we would have done yeah. that. Anyway, it was just the three of us, and I was like, hey, I don't actually really want a room by myself. What are you going to do? Yeah, and then I probably have had to have paid for it. And I just okay, <laughs> yeah. want to pay for it. So I was like to my mum, can I just stay in your room? Like, can we just get a room with one of these little sofa beds? We used to do it all the time when I was a kid. She was like, I don't know if you're even allowed to do that. And I was like, well, just ask. And they were like, yeah, no problem. They were like, yeah, of course we'll put a bed up. But anyway, we got there, and my dad was so jealous of the little camping bed. He was like, I think I want to sleep in that. So 
so he had the camping bed and me and my mum shared. And yeah, we just all stayed together. It was so gay. So cute. It was really cute. And we only went for four days, but it was really nice. It was just nice to not spin. My body was like Bae. very grateful for it. Because I'd done like two weeks of teaching like 10 classes a week. When do you think people, like all these instructors who've been doing it for 10 years, do you think it's just like walking for them now? Yes, I think it you becomes think second become nature. Get I'm still it. really thinking about it and doing it. Yeah. Like, so yeah, I can't wait for that to happen. I think it I might to become autopilot. My friend Josh, who works at Cycle. Josh is a really good name. I agree. It's a really good name. I agree. He can now like go out and get white girl wasted and then teach a class. Yeah, you know, very like, good. It just, yeah, it just yeah. becomes second nature. Yes, exactly like driving. Yes. I'm just not there yes, yet. Yes, exactly that. I'm still like learning. Got my L plates on, girls. Do you not get so scared when you drive past a police And car? he just put his lights on. I'm always... As you oh drove God, past. And he's turning around. No, he's not. Yes, he is. Oh, no, no, he's not. Don't say that. I'm actually scared of police. I'm terrified Like, you know, with children, you're no, always I know. Well, the police will come. I think that worked on me. No, I know. Like, I am actually quite scared of the police. And do you know what's funny is that they're actually there to protect you, but if I see a policeman, I'll obviously we'll be the other way. Well, we've lost the faith, haven't we, in the know, Met Police. Not very good. Sad. Very, very sad. So how are you feeling being back? No. I know you've only been back a day, but do you feel okay? Do you feel recuperated, so ready to go? Yes. But I was talking to my mum about this on our last day. Why do people live here? That's honestly a serious <laughs> question. No, genuinely. The weather is shite. Pasta in the jar. It is. It's just rubbish here. Well, if it's true, you don't get away with swearing. True. The weather's rubbish. Everything is so No, expensive. I'm sorry, actually, because everyone always slags the UK. And I'm a fight its corner. Okay. We don't have pubs anywhere in the world like Baby, we do you could go to a bar. Who gives a shit? Put another one in there. Goodness gracious I feel me. I'm very passionate about this. I honestly think if I didn't have this dream, I would leave. I would move anywhere in the world. We do have oceans. People just don't bother to go to them. They're minging. The coast of Ireland is gorgeous They're and Cornwall is beautiful. Cold. Absolutely as it should be. You get about 24 hours of summer. We have northern people here. You don't have northern people anywhere else in the world. Northern people are so friendly and warm. And funny, we're so funny. There's no humour like yeah, English humour. that is humor. true. And also there's a lot to do. But other than that... Try and have a laugh in... Yeah, true, in America. America. Oh my gosh. Gosh. Never found a joke funny by an American. Or in France, my goodness me. They do you know what I mean? <laughs> so serious. What else? We've got gales, okay? <laughs> like really, what else do you want? So the other day I was teaching in Covent Garden, my 6.30. I was so tired. I don't know why I was so tired. Maybe I've been out the night before or something. I was standing out outside prep waiting for it to open and this guy comes up to me and he's like hi I'm homeless can you buy me something to eat and I was like yeah of course what do you want and he was like no no I'll come in with you so anyway we had I'll to wait together yeah I know so we had to wait together we didn't really chat it was all a bit awkward he just sat on the floor next to me and there was loads of queues like I know there was like builders like businessmen like all queuing and me and this guy <laughs> anyway so we go in oh my god we stand in the queue I'm like what do you want he's like oh can I have a hot chocolate and a porridge I'm like yeah absolutely he's standing a little bit behind me and I can kind of hear rustling and I'm thinking, oh, he's just like picking up a few like snacks as well, whatever. Like, you know, I'm not made of money, but fine, go ahead. <laughs> so we get to the counter and I'm like, hi, I'll have like flat white and can I get a hot chocolate and a porridge? He's like, there's no porridge. And I'm like, okay, what else would you like? And he was like, oh, uh, you just go and look over here, see what they've got. Anyway, he goes over and he's looking at what they've got, picking. And a guy in the queue behind me goes, you know, he's just stolen loads of stuff. And I was like, God, let the boy eat. I like, don't rat on him. Anyway, she just didn't even care. And then he comes back and he goes, lists off about five things that he wants. Was like, what, like what kind of stuff? He wanted a muffin. He wanted a cheesy twist thing. He oh wanted a cookie. God. Blah, blah. God love her. She was so sweet and she gave me loads of it for free. Anyway, we were waiting and he was like, oh, what's your name? And I was like, oh, Georgie, nice to meet you. And he's like, I'm Leonard. And I was like, oh, hi, Leonard. Anyway, then he just got his stuff and left. Did and you I get thought, his story about why he was homeless? No. It wasn't really the environment Babe, for it. good uh, on you. Yeah, Not I, very many people would have done that. Well, I did think. I've never spent 20 quid in prep before and I shan't be doing it again my god i mean like not being rude but if you're gonna get a free meal don't list off five things you know what i mean i know but then i did think like i was like yeah fair like you're hungry and like, i, I offered, can afford it and yeah. i offered and i said yeah i didn't say yes but you can only have god wow the fact he stole loads of stuff though i was like leonard come yeah, on come mate. on <laughs> don't, don't get chugged out leonard what's he old or young <laughs> old older maybe like 45 50 well done thanks that's a good deed <laughs> pat on the back but i'd way rather that than like because it's always that whole conversation isn't it about like should you give someone money when they ask for money or should you like buy them something yeah or even just have a conversation
conversation with them, like, is that more valuable than actually yeah. just giving? So no one carries cash anymore. I know. Like, how do you but actually you, get money? Do you know some of these homeless people now? <laughs> they're carrying around contactless card no. machines. <gasps> Where do they charge it? To, right. I guess in Austin. And what phone are you using to get the money on? Bizarre. A burner? Yeah, must They must be. have a burner. Must it is quite funny, good isn't for it? You, it's bad, babe. That's really good. I don't really give to charity, so that did feel like Well, my, I'm giving £10 a month to Sea Shepherd, so... Yeah, well, you don't, then you don't need to feed the homeless. <laughs> Because you're doing your bit for those manta rays. Uh, well, let's get you a matcha. Okay, great. It's such bizarre weather at the moment. I know, and I actually don't hate it. As in, I wouldn't want it any colder, but I don't mind that it's grey if it's warm. I kind of disagree. I just love... Yeah, but you're a Viking. Another reason I love the UK. Seasons. Although this year, not so much, because we haven't really had a summer. I hate... I'm sorry, but I don't get it. You just want to be an eternal summer, would you? Yes. Babe, I don't think you understand how much I love the sun. Like, that is my natural state, is to be warm. <laughs> I'm like a lizard. I despise the cold. The only thing I can't cope with is it being dark. The darkness, yeah. Don't get it on your white floor. White's actually just a very impractical colour. I agree. Only a certain type of person. And you know Jerry Halliwell only wears white? No. Yeah. As a rule. Yeah. Go look at her Instagram. I'm not exaggerating. Stop it. My God, she really does only wear white and green. White. What? What? How bizarre is that? What a bizarre lifestyle choice. Why? I don't know. Bizarre. Gosh. Bizarre. How do you make a coffee? How do you have kids? I've been around kids. Yeah. I was a nanny for three years and there's mm. no way. That's such a lie. I did it for one. I was a nanny for one year and I didn't have a clean item of clothing for that entire time. Is being a nanny a good job or a bad job? Depends on the family. I've heard some horror stories. I've heard some really good stories. How old were you? I'm 19. Quite young. I'd never really looked after kids before either. It was quite I had a baptism of fire. I had three of them. Do you know what I was thinking the other day? What? I had to do a kit run for work. Where you oh like, my god, that stupid kit run that you had the to do. The mammoth drive kit run. London. Yeah, I mean, no, the not UK. London, the UK, yeah. I picked up an A, I think she's an AP, an AD, anyway, it doesn't matter. This girl in my team. I obviously never go into the office. Al said, I have to drink this coke through a straw, by the way, everyone. Because it's bad for your teeth. It was so funny because she got in and, like, we don't really know each other because I never go into the office. So but, like, we were just. Drive her the whole Way. Yeah, I picked her up in Brixton, then we did Brixton to Godalming, which is in Surrey, then Surrey to Southampton, wow, babe, then well I drove her done. to the station. But we did like the first like half an hour chatty, chatty, chatty. Oh, By the I end, know. obviously, oh, I'm so tired. By the end, we obviously weren't talking. And I was thinking, it's so funny, isn't it? A car is the one place where it really doesn't feel uncomfortable to not, not be talk. chatting. Like it doesn't feel weird to sit side by side with someone mm. and not talk in a car. In any other situation, it would be so weird to just sit in silence. Equally, it's the one place that you can ask kind of awkward questions and it not feel awkward. Apparently it's something to do with the fact that you're not looking at each yeah. other. Yeah. Loads of people say that about like confrontation, like when you should have the difficult car. conversations and no. they say the car or walking side by side the rather whole... than opposite yeah. each other on a table. There was a whole campaign about how a campaign? Ages ago, like a PR campaign mm. about how 90% of parents have the birds and the bees conversation with their kids in the car. Really? Oh, you know, like lots of awkward conversations that you would find really awkward with your children or vice versa. You have in the car. My dad did have a sex chat with me in the car recently no but it was hilarious so i was maybe like 18 17 18 i'd been having sex since i was 15 my mum knew about it i was on the pill like i'd had boy friends i'd probably at that stage slept with like a two number. different boys yeah, yeah a number of boys a handful anyway my dad picked me up from town and we were like coming home i remember it so vividly i was in the car and he was like you know you're getting to that age where you might start thinking oh, about so nice i was honestly like dad i must just stop you there like me and mum have done this we're okay and he's like i just want you to know that you know any decisions you make should be based on like what you want. Well, that's and, sweet. Yeah, though. really sweet. I was like, oh god, you know when you're 50. Oh, I wasn't even 15. I was like 17. I was like, oh dad, stop. And it was in the car. Mm. It is a thing. The car is quite sacred, actually. Yeah. I was like, you're so late to the party. People sometimes say when you have kids, the car is the only place you can go and sit in with no noise. <laughs> like people just, just go and sit in the car. Do you know what? That's so funny. My mum used to get home from work, and my dad and I would be like, what's she doing? No, she just, just sit, sit there the for like 20 minutes, having a little breather before she came in. Had to deal with us. I sometimes do that. <laughs> you hide in front. You! What? You have to get in the car with me. I can't wait till we have like a like a fun car. Tell me about Paul Brunson. Dead. My new best friend. Dead. I died. I'm gonna have to put this down so oh, I can demonstrate. Oh, I'm so so. Okay, oh, so I'm shout so out to Naomi, jealous. my friend. I'm so jealous. So Norm works in the production company that does Celebs Go Dating. I was, you know, I'm so excited to be here actually because I'm actually quite a huge fan of Celebs Go Dating, maths, pool in general. She was like, I can introduce you to pool. I'm saying first actually I got there and I thought I'd best get a drink. So I'm stood in between Adam Collard and Chloe Burrows getting a drink and a Chloe. He's so tall. Yeah, he's tall, but he's quite 
Really? Which makes him just feel lanky and not actually that big. Like, he's not imposing. You know, you meet a six foot five, normally it's like, gosh. Lot, I think he's lost quite a lot of weight because he yeah. used to be really heavy. It was probably the stress of it all, you know, the burden of being bad boy really gets to you, I think. I mean, then don't be the bad boy. That's the thing. They were telling me about the experience. They were saying because they did Love Island, they were like, you know, it's actually pretty easy for us. And I think a lot of people of found the process like quite hard. Whereas they were like, it's just themselves. like, yeah. Because yeah. they've brought in this new thing on Celebs Go Dating called The Brunch. All calm and like have like a bit of a debrief it's almost like you know when the girls like sit on the terrace in the morning on love island every or, like, day they do it they do it once a week i think Got and it. they then bring in the dates they've been on the people yeah so they have to like fully look at them in the face a bit like a fire pit and be like oh that's good i don't want to date you again or i do anyway obviously oh, adam collard and lottie moss had shagged on like the first night of filming so it was this huge like drama the whole Do series know about that? yeah comes out straight away okay but yeah anyway so they were talking about that and i was asking them the questions and play with that you getting a drink and i was like oh yeah i don't really know what to have i was like it's the rose night and she was like try it i was like i think i love you like why are you just so like i, I just love people it. that are normal and just great really nice. she yeah. was amazing Anyways, now I've spoken to them, blah, 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 found Naomi. And we were talking about Paul Brunson. And I was like, no, babe, you can't introduce me. And she was like, no, come on. And then, you know, before you even have time to think. And honestly, I go up to him. He goes, ha, hi. Oh, and no, goes, that's the best And he goes, G, is it? With two hands. G, is it? Like, looks me dead in the eye. It's so nice to meet you. Thank you so much for being here today. And I would have passed out. Didn't let go of my hand I would have for about out. five minutes. I was sweating. I would have honestly babe, passed I was out. bright red, colour of my dress. I was wearing pink. I looked like a salmon. I was so stressed. He was asking me about, because I said, oh, do you know what? I'm actually a huge fan of your work. Of you and everything that you do. I'm a huge fan of your relationship with your wife, basically. I think you're an amazing man and I just want to tell me that. I said his work. So I'm like, he's trying to work. He's like, what are you in particular a fan of? Is he even American? He yes, is, he, is. he was in my dreams. And I was like, oh, to be honest, I just love Married at First Sight. I love celebs go dating, actually. And he was like asking me about what I thought about the show and how they could improve it. I was like, oh what my gosh, I don't know the panic. I said, I actually think it lacks a little bit of like authentic reaction post date. Like, I want to know the goss straight away. Like, what did you think of them? More so from the person yes. who dated the celeb. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Did they and he said, well, you get a bit more of that in the brunch. And I said, good thinking, Paul. And I said, also, obviously, I love John Stephen Bartlett. And then he was telling me about his experience with Stephen Bartlett. Said it was the best thing he's ever done. Said he's, Stephen Bartlett is the best at what he does. That is so shocking to me. Well, he said, he picked him up. He says this on the podcast episode that they picked him up in a sprinter. They had his favorite chicken in the back for him to eat. They had his favorite drink. He said when he got there, the whole production team were there. He was like, maybe there were like 20 people in the room chatting, wow. talking to him. And he said it was so clever. He said moment by moment, people started to leave the room all of this is happening while he's just chatting oh thank you so much for the chicken he's getting mic'd up he doesn't even really realize he's mic'd up Stephen's there everyone's just chatting and he said without even realizing he was sat down opposite Stephen with just four other people in the room and they'd started the podcast and he said it got to about half an hour in he was like are we recording and so he was like yeah yeah we've been recording so like the way so that he made like him off so comfortable so like conversational so that by the time you know you've started you're already in the rhythm with him wow that's interesting and he was like, that's why he's the best at what he does. And he says he loves Juliet's in Ballum. Paul Brunson loves the brunch place. Says he's there every weekend, girl. So get yourself there. Shut yeah. your mouth. I can't. Well, Have babe, you been? Juliet's? That what are we doing? Yeah. Sat here like lemons. <laughs> let's get ourselves to Juliet's. Sunday, next Sunday. What are you doing next Sunday? We're filming. Right, let's go to Juliet's. Brilliant Great. brunch. He lives in Ballum. No, he doesn't. He lives in... I mm. know his exact address. He told me his address. No, he does live south though. Uh, big news. Apparently, Harry Styles lives close to me. Oh, I know! Because Max Belegde lives... Wait, but do you know this? You're guessing this. You've done a bit of guesswork here. You've seen Max Belegde. Uh, no, but like... Who the hell is Max Belegde? He's, he's the guy. He's hilarious. Will you show me him? Belegde, is it because he does lots of leg day? No, no, it's because he, he was like mimicking Jesse Nelson when she said, Belegde. I did not know that reference. Oh, I know him though. He's hilarious. He walks past me on the high street. I'm honestly not joking. Four or five times a week, I see. He must live on one of those roads. Yeah, okay. And last night, we got told that he said that when he moved, he knew he was moving 15 minutes away from Harry Styles, which must mean that Harry Styles lives 15 minutes from me. Oh, because I thought Harry lived in Hampstead. Me too, because he's always on the sodding heath. The paparazzi <laughs> pictures are always Harry Styles on the heath. I'm thinking, what are you? 
you doing out there? Living his best life, prancing around in a cardi. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Just speaking of leg day. Yeah. I want to talk to you about the world's fittest woman. Talk to me. Okay, have you seen her? The mm. size of her? No, show me. My God. But it just got me thinking, right? The prime male physique, like as in like standardized beauty, yeah. right? Does replicate fitness. Like, say like when actors have to get like really fit, they get hench, they get athletic, they train two well, times a day. That, that's not the standard for women. Not the standard for women. If you looked at the world's fittest woman, no one would say, oh yeah, she's a standardized beauty that I want to match. Like we're looking at like mm. still like Kate Moss, or even looking at like Kim Kardashian. I know she loves a stairmaster, but she's not going to be the world's fittest woman. Whereas if you were the world's fittest man, you would also match I actually, no, the beauty standard. I disagree. Because I think the world's fittest man would be so muscly hench, like couldn't even walk because his muscles were so No, big. no, no, but he wouldn't. But, but how do you measure fitness like, then? You could, that's- a, It's everything. So it's like strength, cardio. They do this whole, like, it's not the world's strongest woman. It's the world's fittest. You all think of the world's uh, strongest right. man. Because it's I fittest. think that if you said, if I said, what's a standardized woman who is a runner, that's going to look very different from a standardized woman that lifts a lot of weight. Yeah, this it is all round what, fitness. Yeah, show me her. Can't remember her name. How annoying. That's good. That's good for the story. But it just did make me think that it would be close with a guy. As in, like, you know, if someone's going to play a superhero, she he gets is, really fit. This woman. Do you know what I mean? Abs like slabs. Ain't that the truth? Oh, I must tell you. Go on. The man. So we're driving. Who's the man? The dri we're driving to our villa. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Back up the story. Actually. Back up. We had to fly to Antigua to then get a small plane. A tiny, tiny plane. Oh, I hate them. And we were already like so delayed, all having a total sense of humour failure. Is this girl Laura? Laura Sorry. But like, look at her. Like super fit, lean, like athletic, amazing. Yeah. I did just get me thinking like that is a gender split. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, As in of like for men. When they get really fit, they actually replicate like fitness. Whereas for women, like yes. it's actually not fit, yeah, not eat, skinny, and like you because yeah. you can't do anything. Like you wouldn't be able to lift anything if you haven't eaten all day. It's just funny. It's just another double standard that we must live with in this world. Wait, sorry, tell me a story. Tiny plane. Everyone rules. Already like hates. Small Does he planes. not like flying? Hate, no, like he doesn't plane. like small planes. I don't blame him. Anyway, we took off, and the pilot goes, "We're gonna have to go back because there's a pressurization issue." <laughs> It's pitch black. It was like midnight. Our flight had been delayed oh, like you five mad. hours already. And like, there was a moment, you know when you just have that moment and you just think, is today the day? I just had like a real spiritual moment of feeling like, oh my God, I, the things that matter aren't things. Very good. You know? Go on. In that moment, I thought, imagine if all you leave behind is money. Yeah. You know? That's not life. That's not good. I don't know what would give comfort in that moment. Actually, I said to my angels, please just make sure we reach our destination safely. I was really in my head with my angels. But just... what about if you were going to die? Like it was going to crash. Do you think comfort would be all your memories? <sighs> would it be like all your achievements? Would it be the people you're with in that moment? That you love. Yeah. Yeah. It's all that really matters. I think that actually. Actually, all I would be thinking about is how much I would miss this earth. It was such a rob. So robbed. And that's so why robbed. I feel so afraid of dying. Because I think in that moment, you would feel like, oh my God, I'm not finished. You know? I'm not finished. Right. A hundred years isn't very long, is it really, as an innings? <sighs> And that's if you're doing really well. If you, you haven't spent your life. You're not going to be living your life. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Everything. Babe, wasn't there an article today about protein bars? Let's get those grenade bars out of my house. What's saying that they're carcinogenic? Babe, everything in the world is carcinogenic, apparently. Is that what it is? What does carcinogenic mean? Gives you cancer. Dark coat's carcinogenic. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> you can snog your dad, babe. Just don't drink the dark coat. <laughs> Good. Oh, good. <laughs> no, I just really had a moment on the plane where I thought, God. You don't want to die? I don't want to die. Flying. If you think about flying no, for too long, I don't want to ever do it again. Play. You just get in a tube of air. You what is wake, it? And then you just go to sleep and you wake up in a different, like, it's so. You go to sleep. Colin always says to me, he's like, it's mad that you'll get in a plane and you don't know how it works. And I go, I know and I'd rather not. It's weird. I couldn't tell you how a plane takes no, no, off. Me neither. Could you? Does that make us really thick? No. No. People Ignorant. Don't, people don't know that, babe. People Ask the average person how people the, know that how a plane takes off aviation they know about simple physics really i'm enjoying this i can just hook my finger in and hold on for dear life please so, so down i can't even take I know, seriously i know sorry to tell you she's so glowy also then we get off the plane finally eventually we oh, sorry there. Yeah, sure. our taxi driver we're driving to this villa and he was like there's an ex-us president that actually owns the villa next door to you and we were like lol who like biden donald trump Donald Trump! Yeah, I did think about setting a little match and just... <laughs> 
blowing it up. That would be quite rogue. Have you seen his mugshot? Yeah. Babe? No, I have to show you the funniest thing. I got off the plane I've and as soon, as, as soon as you get, it's obviously like a bit of a lull because they're do, they've done it on purpose. You get off and you go into passport where you scan your passport and the first thing that you see is Donald Trump's mugshot. Stop. Yeah, they've put it on the, like, the big news bit of <laughs> huge. Babe, were you able to watch the footy when you were away? Oh my God, we haven't talked about it. Yes. Oh, I just, I actually cried. I just feel so full of pride. I'm in awe of these amazing women. They're just amazing. Like I really. You just love football. No, but I love the lionesses. Like I yeah. actually think what they've done is remarkable. Yeah. Like, they've broken every barrier. And like with the lack break. of funding and like the difference in training and facilities that they get in compared to the boys. Alex Scott was saying that five years ago, stadiums wouldn't even host women's yeah. games. Yeah. It and is now, epic. Like, and it's on like a world they're amazing. stage. They're they playing at Heathrow. They so are. We were flying on the day. They were playing it on the big screens at Heathrow. And everyone was like cheering. I'm so in awe of them. So yesterday we went to All Points East. Mega. Loved it. Mega. Thank you to EMI, EMI. for having us. Yeah, thank you. Like Epic. huge, It was huge. so nice. And also so nice for us. Like it was so funny because we hit 50K on TikTok yesterday. Even though we've been so close for so long, it felt like a real milestone. I agree. Like I did just feel really proud of us and it was nice to celebrate. Like in I the agree. sun, Olivia Dean. Absolutely epic. I've seen her before in her gig at Coco Camden, but my god, I she was good. I didn't really know about her, and then obviously now I know. Obviously now, and you knew a few no, of her I songs. No, I knew. She's one of those people that yeah. I know the songs. I just didn't really. I know think she her. comes up on a lot of editorial playlists, so then you kind of get to know her. But she's just, she's so cool. Feels she's so down to earth and like real, so, and she like oozes cool. Yeah, but she's like beautiful. so effortlessly. Yeah, her music is just so solely feeling. Yes, and feels. We were obviously again obsessed with the drama. And, and the, the saxophonist. How do you say it? That's right. Saxophonist. Babe. Amazing. Amazing. She was amazing. She was quite funny though. The drummer was like a little posh boy. Yeah, he looked like a little posh boy. He had like a white linen shirt on and he was really just like feeling it. But yeah, he looked like he'd oh. fallen straight out of a lacrosse team. So good. And then we weren't going to stay, but then we just kind of got in the mood after a few palomas and then we stayed and watched Not Dermot paloma, Kennedy. Babe. We were on the Margs. We were on the Margs. Well, what is a paloma? It's literally a margarita, but it's grapefruit. It's right. actually delicious. It's delicious. Oh, maybe I should have done that. Oh yeah. Oh It's yeah. very good. Yeah, yeah we, we stayed for Dermot, Dermot Kennedy. Kennedy. Who, wow. Oh my god, could he be sexier? No, we've like both got a really, really like. I'm ever so sorry, but crush. yeah, hardcore. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. For Sadly he has been with his girlfriend for over ten years. But then we started loving him more because we were like, oh he's a good, good guy. Yeah, and like imagine those kinds of people, like he would just sing to you in bed and like. That was like, so real, funny. Oh. So he's singing and he's doing a little like talky bit, and obviously he's got his gorgeous low voice and chasing so loudly in a crowd of like in the VIP pit. So like die hard Dermot oh. Kennedy fans. Just, oh my god, is he American? <laughs> I was like yeah. Babe, sometimes it does. The sound. pigeons in seagull. What is it? The seagulls in Dublin are buff. The seagulls in Dublin are buff. You're Some, good Irish. But sometimes they do sound a bit American. Do you not ever get that? No. Anyway, I'm quite good with accents. He was just really magical. And he I was amazing. Thought, and he sang this one love song, and I thought I've got to walk down the aisle to that song. But you must. You sing have it. to sing it. Yeah. And maybe actually he could just walk down the aisle with me. Yeah. And maybe I should just marry him and not Raw. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I just, think that's probably yeah, the best scenario. Yeah. Then we were with this amazing girl called Becca who works at EMI. Shout out, we promised her we'd give her a shout out on drive through. Shout out. I looked over and she was sobbing at this one store. At Dermot Kenty? Yeah. Because she was like, it's just one of those days. I was like, yeah, babe. You tell them, we've all been we've there. We've all been babe. there. She was like, I just cry when I'm sad, happy, hungry, tired. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, yeah, fair. Yeah. I haven't cried in ages, actually. I, I could have cry. cried last night. Actually. Yeah, it was quite emotional. Actually, I felt more emotional at Olivia Dean because I think like the sun was setting. We were there. And we were hugging, oh, we were like so nice. dancing. Also, Amazing. for us, it's really nice because, like, we're so head down moving on. We, we never get we to never, enjoy the I stuff. Know, and we really enjoyed the stuff last And you night. weren't at Celebs Go Dating, so I couldn't enjoy with you. Whereas that was a good one. Oh, come on! Bum! Oh, bum! <laughs> Bum, you missed Paul Brunson's bum. Is Great his bum. skin so good? No, his skin I, is I thought that. glowing. So, so smooth. I know, I oh. can believe it. Oh my God, he oozes just like love. He's like a vessel of love. I think he might be Jesus. <laughs> like, you know, if there was going to be a Messiah that came back and like converted me to a cult, it's Paul Brunson. Oh, babe. If he started some Scientology cult, I would say I'm in. Up. No, straight away. I'd give him anything. Yeah, give him Money. Anything. Yeah. My liver. Whatever he wants. Yeah, I'd do it. He can have it. I agree. Absolutely. I told you, didn't I, that my dad said we need to get business cards printed? What? 
Oh my god, you can't go left. Oh my gosh. Sorry, rewind. Yeah, he wants us to get business cards printed because okay. he, he's so embarrassing. We were in the airport and he goes, what would we write on Is that, that closed? What would we write on them, number one? But we're in this airport and he goes, look at those young girls over there. You need business cards to give to those young girls. I said, business <laughs> cards saying what? That you've got a YouTube. That you've got a YouTube. And I was like, I don't think I want to go up to young girls. It's harassment, dad. Oh, to go up to young girls fuck. and just say, can you imagine? Oh my god, we should do it as a dare. Follow our YouTube. No, dad. I've died a dare. We should do it as a dare. No. We should just get on four, five, ten printers and just do it for a lol and see. <laughs> Oh, it's horrible. I just think, Dad, you don't understand. You don't understand. I don't want a business card. Babe, let him give us... He feels like he's helping you. You have to let him... Look, when you get to an age, you feel so redundant. I actually do think that when you get to a certain age, you feel like, oh, I can't communicate Yeah, because society world. also, like, casts Everything's you aside. Changed, right. And, like, I agree. That's, like, a, the dumbest thing ever. Imagine. But... It's so inefficient. Right. How many people I'd have to walk up to to give them a visit? What am I going to do? Door to door like a Mormon? <laughs> and like just the go, oh, i got teenagers in here. They're I'll be like, mm, I think I might ring someone about you, you creep. Any teenage girls in here? Can you imagine? Disgusting. It's not right. No, I know, God love him. He's just trying to help. But my God, I just did No, think. but you've just got to like humour him. Yeah. Yeah, no, I know. I know. I just but... say, yeah, that's a great. What should I put on them? And actually, do you know anyone <laughs> oh, that could help me no, out? No, you're so sweet because that you know, is really good. And I wouldn't do that. Because we'll be them one day. And everyone else will be running around. No, because I believe in euthanasia. Oh, Have no. I ever told you about this? When I used to be in debating club in like year 10, we We'd got told that the debate was on youth in Asia and I prepared a whole speech on the youth in Asia because I thought it was youth oh God, in Asia. so embarrassing. And it was the counter argument first. So they were like talking about youth in Asia and I was like, what the hell are they talking about killing people? Babe, we should cut that. That is so <laughs> embarrassing. That is so embarrassing. I didn't see it written down. Someone just told me and it sounded like youth in Asia. <laughs> And did you stand and I, up? We're talking about. Oh no, because obviously then I had to blag it because I couldn't actually stand up and be like, there's a youth in Asia, it's like a large population. Oh, that is funny. <laughs> that is really good. No, I actually do really believe in euthanasia. Just let me go peacefully when yeah, I decide yeah, yeah. to and I'm sound yeah, of mind. Yeah, yeah. I'll just give you a gun. I'll make it look like I did it, but you can just shoot me in the head. It's only if you're like a vegetable. No, no, no. You have to be sound of mind. You have to sign away. Well, why would you do that? Because no one wants to get old. It's horrible. I actually actually disagree. I think there's something quite beautiful about aging and dying naturally. I would do it if Have I was Have you seen a veg someone on death's door? No, if I was a vegetable. I mean, like, just honestly, just put a gun through my brain. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Bullet through my head. No, but even, like, your achy joints, you've probably got cancer everywhere, oh, dementia, your Listen hearing. To me. We're gonna be so loaded by then. We're gonna be on a yacht in the Caribbean. We won't be. We will. We're so and we'll have a whole house full of carers to look after us. <laughs> it will be good. We'll be dripping in diamonds. Okay. It'll be good. We'll be Jennifer Coolidge. 20 years older. You Jennifer know? Coolidge is not that old. I know, I'm saying in 20 years. We'll be the Fine. Jennifer Coolidge. Do you think she's going to keep getting work done as she gets older? She needs to stop because it's a bit much now. Oh, I don't know. I think it's kind of her look. I think it's good for her. Babe, have you seen all the sugar daddies in our DMs? Yes. And girls, do we need to start considering it? I am thinking about no, it. No, you're not. I'm sorry, there's no way. They literally specify it's like... Oh, I think I probably get... There must be strings attached. Four or five a week. But they say no sex, no anything, and that can't be right. You'd feel like you owed them something. You can't just take people's money. My mum always says that men never, men, men, ne mm. let's try that again. Men always expect something. Nothing's for free, especially if you're dating rich men. My mum always used to say this, don't date a rich man if you're not prepared to give anything back. If you don't want to have sex with them, don't date them because if they're spending money on you, they're they expect something. And also I would worry that they do expect me to be, you know, a bit like to take the knee. I, I don't always like to take the knee. This guy, this man, many, many years ago, once offered to buy my mum a Lamborghini and she said no, because she said, if I take it, he'll expect me to come to him whenever he wants. And she said, no, thank you. She said, no, thank you very much. When Goodbye. did she meet your stepdad? How old was she? I was, I think I was 13 or 14. So that's 15 years ago now. That is mad, isn't it? Was it weird at the start when he started coming into the house? Yeah, it was weird. And did they date a bit first? Yeah, but I will it? never forget. Actually, it was really sweet because the first time we went for lunch, she introduced me and my sister individually, which was really Oh, smart. really? Yeah. That is clever. And I was first and we went for lunch, like a really nice lunch. And it was so funny because I didn't know that they so were they'd dating. been dating for a while or yeah, no? Yeah, yeah. Oh, but you were meeting him as like a friend? Yeah, as a friend. And, and then- And she'd 
been single for like a while now. Yeah. Oh my God, we played some horrible pranks on her other boyfriends. No. Yeah, so the one that wanted to buy her a Lamborghini. Oh my God, I will never forget this. No. So he lived in the country and he had horses and we all went to spend the day with him. And my friend, we hated him. And my <laughs> sister's friend was so alert, like horribly allergic to horses. Oh, like me? Yeah, yes. <sighs> and we were like, we need to leave. Like it was like the afternoon. We were like, we want to go home. We want to go home. Let's find a way. We went to the saddle room and we like put her face in like- No! Stuff, yeah. <laughs> she we, blow up. Blow up. Completely no. Blow up. And he was like, you must go to the. Anyway, obviously, then we got to leave, and we were like, yeah. Oh, we've done my so many. And then then this other one. Oh, this guy. Did you like, like the parent no, trap? No, it was so funny. We and we did it to my stepmom too. We used to put spiders in her water. We used to burn her white shirt with the iron. Like, she stayed around though. No, we love her, and like sure. I feel bad about it now. But you know, it's kind of like a rite of passage. You yeah. Know? You can't do it. This one day, guy my dad came and picked us up in his like brand like fresh out the showroom Porsche and my sister Your mum really to, knows how to date We got in the Porsche and we were driving to bar and my sister projectile vomited or like in this air con <laughs> No, well, she was just he travel never, sick. Yeah, he never came back. I bet he didn't. <laughs> no, it was Imagine like all these men are a bit allergic to yeah, kids yeah, as well. Yeah. Yes, yes. Sorry, so tell me about the lunch the first time you met. No, so we went for lunch, really nice. And then James was like, my stepdad was like, oh, let's go to Abercrombie. And then like, just have whatever you want. Like, Stop. Stop. You know me? It's like hoovering up Abercrombie. You like the hoodies, yeah. trackies, That's the shorts. way to a 13 year old girl's heart. And, and then, then did you think, God, I actually quite like this one. Yeah, and I remember, I so remember being at the a zebra crossing with my mum and my mum going oh what do you think about him and I was like you know I think he likes you good funny sweet and now he's and now he's he's, he's in. my dad you do that yeah. yeah I have to ask you a question Go on. if there was a book and in it was every single thing that everyone's ever said about you good and bad everything your parents your everyone you know or like people that you don't know would you read the book but no. once you start you can't stop no I can't read the book you wouldn't read it no I know the good things and bad things I don't want to know I would love to read it. Would you? Yeah. Why? Because I think... No, narcissist. No, because I think <laughs> I know that I can say horrible things about other people too, so I wouldn't actually be that offended if people said mean... But then Unless why would you want like, to know? Like, what are you intrigued to know? Who they said, are the snakes in my life? Oh, it tells you who they are. Who are the people slagging me off and being all nicey-nicey oh, to my that face? that is clever. Yeah. But no. There are a lot of snakes and ladders out there, girls. You better watch out because seriously, You everywhere. can smell a snake. Do you know what I'm Yeah, I can smell a snake. You can smell a snake. But I just would like to know, you know? Yeah, no, I'm no curiosity kills the cat, that is baby. True. And I'm going to stay over here that where it's true. safe and sound. And I'm naive to all of the things people don't like about me. Yeah, that is true. You know what people are going to say. Yeah, I know what they would say. It would be interesting. Imagine like random on a random day, it'd be like cashier number two, Susan blah, blah. Yeah. I said, God, she was a Larry <laughs> ex. Yeah. And you'd be like, oh yeah. God, who was Susan? Sorry. No, but it would be nice to read the nice stuff too. Stuff that people don't really say to your face. Do you think? Yeah, because I think I have a lot of people in my life like that who probably say really nice things about but like because I'm me and they don't want to inflate my ego fair enough my head's so big it can't get through the door <laughs> you know I don't that's not true you are humble yeah <laughs> Yeah, just gonna convince myself. Hold on a minute. Yeah. <laughs> oh, stop it. <laughs> being self assured is not being no, I know. But it could arrogant. Being confident is not being arrogant. They're no, so I think they are different. People really confuse it, and it's actually not very fair. You know? <laughs> you know? Like, it's not very fair to me. No, I think you are quite humble, quite grounded, I'd say. Got anything else on your list? Um, yeah, I want to tell you, but I just think that the Caribbean is kind of like my spiritual home because it's like so <laughs> relaxed. You know, the thing I like about it yeah. is the mentality of like, yeah, I agree. whatever. Yeah, I like that they drink so early. Like, I really do. When I was in Barbados, do you like I like rum. I don't really like rum. I love rum and coke. Pina colada is the one thing I can get behind. And I love beer. And they love a beer. Yeah. No, but I just like really easy peasy. Yeah, yeah it's very nice. Like, I like, and yeah. I'm really not good at that. So I'm really going to try and embody being a bit more Carib. Maybe we could give you an alter ego like Caribbean man. Like, you know Good. those men that sit on the side like of the street? Like my taxi driver called Rodney. You could be Rodney. We were like, how are you? He's like, yeah, cool, man. Cool, man. I'm cool. And I thought, oh, I that's want to be a cool, good Rodney. energy. You okay, know? Yeah. You've got a good energy. That's what it, yeah, is. it is. And people in London don't have a good energy. I know, but there's things to do. I like, know. What is there to do no, I know. on holiday what? in the Caribbean? But have a good time. Right. But then that's why I think, why do people why are you hating it so much? Because I've just been away. I will get it yes. into it. You must try. You must. 
best to find the joy. Okay, quick Come question on. for you before you go. Go on. Goals of the week. Give me two. Oh, unpack my suitcases. Good. I walked into her flat yesterday and I thought, oh dear. Fix my leaky, well, that's Rory's goal. Fix the leaky thing. <laughs> Sorry, I just need to remember Rory's goals too. Very important, Rob. Oh, I've got so much, all the admin, like the, all that stuff. And not spend any money. Me too. Big goal. Really big Pull goal. Pull it back on the yeah. big spending. Who do you think you like, are? If you don't need it to survive, you don't need it. Yes, I'm returning a lot of things. Yeah. I'm going to be returning this yeah. week. That's number one. Number two goal. Enjoy everything, even if it feels like a lot of effort, because we're lucky to be doing all these things. Snog, Mary, Kill. Paul Brunson, Dermot Kennedy, Nick Mulvey. I'm obviously killing Nick. I'm marrying Paul. Snogging Dermot. Good. Easy. Good. Snog, marry, kill. Donald Trump. Kill. Rodney, your taxi driver. He was missing all of his teeth. You think your dad's bad? My goodness me. Rodney needs to get some veneers <laughs> It's the rum. I know. Think about how much it's sugar so is in sugary. rum. I know, I know. Or the man that kissed that lady on the football pitch. <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> the Spanish man. Kill Donald, obviously. Get him in the grave early. Oh, I'd have to snog Rodney and marry the man. No! Yeah. You love no. a lovely love. You want to win Sorry! Sorry, snog the man, marry Rodney. Yeah, yeah obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's a snogger, that man. I don't mean to make light of it. I know it was bad and inappropriate. That's what it was. Extremely inappropriate. Right, exactly that. Imagine someone kissing you at work. Bizarre. It was kind of work. Like going to hand in your proposal and he just gives you a big fat <laughs> slobber. <laughs> like, no. Strange. It's not normal. So strange. It's very odd. Right, okay, baby, must go. go and roast I love chicken. you. We've got to go and roast a chicken. Okay. I'll let you know about its fingernails. When am I going to see you? Wednesday. Oh, it's because you bought the whole chicken. Yeah, baby. Oh, I was I thinking wasn't in a breast. In a thigh, for goodness sake. I'm thinking they've forgotten to cut the claws off the chicken. Babe, thigh. thanks for this top and thanks for all my goodies. Oh my gosh, I've got so much to carry. So thanks for my necklace. Welcome. We love you. We've got so love many prezzies. See you on Wednesday. Oh, yeah, fun. Yeah. Okay. Okay, love, love you. you. Bye. Wait. <laughs> <laughs>